what yeah. about like in the coming few months or even years like would there be any emerging market that affiliates they can look into when it comes to dating if you have email traffic it's more profitable for you to use a DOI by offers so yeah i guess um, what nick is uh, saying right now is actually where like there, there is a huge potential in asian market a black hat method where it's like and not approved by facebook you can send like uh, one two three post notifications a day would there be any tips that uh, you can give to to this particular affiliate and for the beginners you can try an ad network, for example, Target Factory and ExaClick and Heartic Stars. Another thing that are doing pretty well right now is Eastern Europe market. Um, like how can they ensure the quality of their lead is good? Would there be any dating offer, like, like probably like some of the best offers that you guys have, you guys have that you can recommend to, to our audience? We have for now is Polyp.com. Hello everyone, welcome to the Ben's Talk Show. Um, guess what's gonna be our topic for today? Well, I guess um, all guys and uh, guys and girls are gonna be very excited because we are gonna talk about dating today. And uh, today on the talk show, uh, we have uh, Nick from Top Offer who will be joining us and sharing all the insights on the dating industry as a whole. And of course, uh, we hope that uh, Nick um, is able to drop us uh, and also uh, to our audience some of the golden nuggets uh, you know, that can probably help to, you know, um, you know what, uh, probably like increase the ROI or even help you to kickstart on dating campaigns. Yeah, so let's uh, welcome Nick. Hey guys. Yeah, so Nick, like, um, why not just start by introducing yourself to our audience? Okay, so uh, my name is Nick. I'm working at Top Offers from the beginning. It's been almost two years, maybe more. And uh, like my position, I'm in charge of all traffic that come in to like our platform. So uh, basically what we're doing, we're buying and selling like a traffic in dating vertical. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, my position is user acquisition lead. So. Uh, I'm like handling all the traffic here. Right. Okay, that's good to know. So, so as we all know, like recently, um, you know, Facebook has also announced that they are going to be uh, tapped into the, like the dating game and they have this thing called Facebook dating. So like, um, does that mean that this industry is still emerging and there are still a lot of room to grow? Okay, uh, so there has like always been a lot of competitors in this vertical mm. like tinder and now it's facebook and matchcom and uh, like every like advertiser uh, can find their like uh, users to uh, to bring on the platform so currently mm. facebook dating based on uh, like on our data is not like uh, a huge competitor so uh, they uh, of course like have their own niche, but uh, like based on ours, that's we grow like on twenty percent uh, for the past year. So uh, yeah, they like exist and bring uh, a lot of uh, like users to their dating. But mm -hmm. uh, still, you can like run a lot of products and and feel okay with that. So mm -hmm. it's not so big right now. Okay. Yeah. Right. So let, let's talk about like the markets for dating. Like uh, as we all know, like uh, usually um, advertisers they will be going after the European and, and also like the probably like uh, you know U US. Um, so what yeah. about um, like in the coming few months or even years? Like would there be any emerging market that that uh, affiliates they can look into when it comes to dating, which could show yeah. like a great potential or opportunity for them to tap into the market yeah like uh, a biggest advertisers on the market they uh, are doing like their business in the united states and canada and europe for uh, quite long time and uh, they like have 
a lot of, uh, of users there also. So right now they are trying to expand uh, markets like to uh, Latam market and Asia market. And uh, I believe that the next big thing will be an Asian market. So I know that an Asian market has uh, their own like uh, dating products, mm -hmm. like uh, local one, but with the power and, uh, and knowledge uh, from the like advertisers on the other market, uh, American and f f European and f advertisers can open a product in Asia. And uh, we have almost like uh, 50 offers uh, for Asian market. Wow. And they convert in pretty good because uh, it's like a new market and you can buy like a lot of traffic there and drive to those products and they are new. So uh, the user, uh, it's like a new audience for that market. So a conversion rate is pretty high currently. Okay. Like how, how high would that be? Is it like SOI or DOI? Single opt-in, double opt-in? Uh, Usually is uh, is a SSOI, but uh, like you can discuss, you know, it, like it depends on the price. Uh, the SOI offer is cheaper, yeah, and payouts is lower. Mm -hmm. But uh, a DOI is higher. And uh, for example, if you have uh, email traffic, uh, it's more profitable for you to use a DOI offers because. Uh, if you have an email, like a database, yeah, and you know emails of the users, so you can push like a DOI traffic, and the payouts like is thirty percent higher than on uh, on usual like uh, SOI. What would be the conversion rate? Conversion rate like, let's say in the Asian conversion market, rate, nah, like the in Asian market, of, nah, or even like your best offers in okay, Asia. Uh, okay, yeah. I can, I can tell about uh, uh, like markets in Ch Ch Japan and conversion rate like uh, is something around 25% for SOI wow. and around 17% yeah 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 and it's because uh, it's like a fresh market so there is like not a okay if you're bringing a, a user to like a tinder uh, the possibility uh, that uh, this user doesn't have an account, uh, it's like quite low because like it's not market, yeah? And if, if you drive your traffic to uh, an offer for Japan, uh, it's probably it will be a new user. So uh, SCR is higher because like it's a fresh website, a fresh product, yeah, so SCR is higher right now. Right. So for example, for the United States, like 25% conversion rate. And I can tell you that yeah. being someone, um, because I, I actually started uh, by running uh, traffic today, mm -hmm. offer, and I can tell you guys like 25% conversion rate is a no brainer. Like that's how I made my first 100 grand from 25% conversion rate. You know that that offer is had that. So yeah, I guess um, what Nick is uh, saying right now is actually where like, there, there is a huge potential in Asian market. Yeah. Uh, for example, think... for the United States, average like conversion rate is about like 10, maybe 12 percent. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. So right. the Asian market like uh, is the best right now. Yeah. So probably like I would say the affiliates they might need to be a little bit hardworking. You know, like just get the pages translated into the local language and yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm telling about like a products with the local uh, brand, uh, a local okay. domain name, and the local creatives. Yeah, so you need like to build your funnel only with local. Yeah, and uh, and this conversion rate is for like a social and email traffic. If you will lose uh, like use an ad networks or like other traffic types, for example, push traffic mm -hmm. or on native, the conversion rate will be lower, of course, much yeah. lower. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's. So like since we 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 talk about like the traffic source, like um, 
would there be any good traffic source that you can recommend or that you know uh, like it's a gold mine where a lot of other guys they still they are not aware of uh, well, like best traffic source for now is a social so it's Facebook uh, and another like a social networks uh, yeah things okay. like the best one Let's say and, hey, I, I want to start running dating offer okay I have a Facebook account like yeah the net the next thing that I know is if I were to set up an ad for dating, would I get banned for that? Uh, actually, it depends on the offer. Uh, you need to choose like to advertise on Facebook. You need to choose like a, a right offer that is approved by Facebook. So uh, it can be tricky because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you need the right offer right yeah so in other words if you are not promoting like the offers no no only mainstream yeah chance, yeah there's a chance that you would get and yeah okay. of course right there is like always the ways to do mm -hmm. it but uh, it's like you need an expertise and you need exactly what you're doing yeah. okay so what tell, tell tell me like what would be the expertise that I, I really want to learn <laughs> uh okay but it's like you can uh, use like a Facebook to send traffic uh, like in a white method uh, and you can find like a black hat method where it's like uh, and not approved by Facebook mm -hmm. but still you can drive like uh, a traffic uh, in some cases even to adult offers. It's like uh, you need uh, to buy uh, a lot of accounts on Facebook because uh, if you will use like this method account will be alive like for five days maximum yeah mm -hmm. so you need like a stable source of fresh uh, accounts on Facebook yeah right okay so this could be some of the challenges but if you are able to overcome yeah. that then yeah then I, I guess the opportunity gonna be great yeah of course mm -hmm. Okay, so like besides social, like would there be any other traffic sources that you would recommend? Email traffic, email traffic and push notifications. Oh, so, push. Uh, yeah, if you have like an email database, you can buy one or collect one. So, yeah, it, it's a nice source because a lot of advertisers are offering like uh, a special landing pages for the traffic that come in from email. So basically, if the user even don't need to uh, fulfill their emails on the landing page. So it uh, appears automatically because you are passing uh, an email uh, in the landing page. So the conversion rate will be higher. Uh, the other traffic source is, uh, is push notification. It working like uh, pretty good all the time. So then you just need like uh, a good uh, uh, a database for push and you need like to, to not burn it because uh, if you have like uh, a nice a database for service push traffic, uh, you can send like uh, one to three post notifications a day. Mm. Otherwise, users will be like, uh, Unsubbing from but how your about like quality from push traffic because uh, I mean you know from my side I have been hearing that um, push notification uh, they might not have some of the best uh, quality of audience um, so like how is it uh, like would it would that be the case if it is for dating yeah you know um, if we are talking about quality a quality is common with the price. So if the if like advertisers or network will see like a drop in quality, mm -hmm. uh, they will propose like a lower a lower price for your traffic. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you like have uh, a push uh, a notification traffic, then you can like lower your price and margin. So there will be like a the way always because it depends on the price uh, for example i know the cases where like affiliate 
the traffic like is extremely cheap, extremely cheap. It's around like 50 cents for United States for SOI. It's like really cheap. And the conversion rate is uh, like is really low. But um, because of the price, the results uh, like ROI for the advertiser is still okay. So you can run like a cheap traffic with uh, a not uh, a really high uh, conversion rate in sales, but yeah, you still can run it. Okay, so it depends on the price. So is it fair for me to say that um, let's uh, for whoever that that is only solely sending traffic from push notification, their price for the SOI or even DOI gonna be lo always lower. Uh, in most cases, yeah, but it still depends uh, uh, on your traffic source or push, mm -hmm. push traffic. So if uh, you're buying like from other, like a dating relay sites, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so the quality of the will be high. And if it's like a, a general uh, a push notification from uh, like a new, uh, Sites with and use of games, yes, yeah, so the quality will be lower because uh, users are not uh, interested in uh, your offers. Okay, so um, having said that, like, um, do you have any recommendation of some of the networks uh, which you know that you think the quality is okay for push notification? Uh, I don't have information currently. Uh, because mostly we are working with the affiliates who have uh, who have their own mm. boot application own. track. So okay, yeah, they are buying it on the Fun network, so they are it's like own base. Yeah, I see. Okay, that's good to know. Mm. So let's just say, um, like today, uh, if someone uh, is interested to start running dating offer, like, would there be any tips that? Uh, you can give to to this particular affiliate so that you can help him or her to kickstart in, in running, yeah, dating. Yes. Yeah, so if you are like uh, a new player on the market, you should definitely start with the an Asia market. And for the beginners, you can try an ad network, for example, Target Factory and ExaClick and Target Stars. So it's like a best, uh, a good way to start uh, promoting like a dating gophers. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, you can use like a Facebook, but uh, you need like uh, a little bit experience to get profitable with a traffic from Facebook because it's way more expensive than mm -hmm. buying on head networks. But uh, if you know what you're doing, the uh, profit will be high. Yeah, so the best way is at networks, like to right. start your traffic. Okay. Yeah. So how about like, uh, so, so I believe that just now we talked about like, um, a, uh, like Asian markets, like, um, mm -hmm. new markets. So would you also recommend um, affiliate to go after this job instead of like the very uh, competitive, very high, saturated geos uh, the most competitive geos uh, currently in the world is top five is the United States and Canada and Australia and France and United uh, United Kingdom uh, another thing that are doing pretty well right now is Eastern Europe market so mm -hmm. if you will push Poland and Czech Republic uh, and uh, and Slovakia, yeah, but mostly it's like a Poland and Czech Republic. So the results will be like uh, really good for you because a traffic is cheaper and uh, there is like not enough competitors in this market. So you need to find a, a good offer. Uh, like the best way uh, is local offer for Poland and Czech Republic and try right. to push uh, as much traffic as you can there. Mm -hmm. The price for you to be low, but still your margin will be high. Okay. 
right okay so how about like would it be convenient for you to share some of the ideas on the free lender that affiliate can use uh parallel lenders okay uh, if uh, if we are talking about like our network uh, we uh, we have our media by team and uh, we have a lot of pre lenders and banners and if, uh, if affiliate i need a, so like a good banners or pre lenders we can share like a data and the uh, mm -hmm. lenders from our media by team to the affiliates. Yeah. Oh, wow. The other way is to like uh, the research like funnels uh, from the other affiliates and mm -hmm. see what currently they are running. Mm, okay. Right. But if you are like a beginning, you can ask us and we can provide you uh, the best pre-lenders and banners and whatever you need. Mm, okay. So I guess um, this, the following question is um, one of the most asked questions uh, for anyone that's uh, doing CPL, you know, cost per lead. Um, like how can they ensure the quality of their lead is good? Um, like, okay. Just, uh, uh, part, uh, I mean, you know, for a fact, uh, if we are sending from social traffic source, then usually the quality gonna be. But how about like other traffic sources? Like, is there anything or tips that you can give to, like us, so that we know like what 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 else can we do? Okay, you need to build. Uh, you need to build like uh, a good funnel. For example, if you uh, are telling on your pre lender or. Uh, a banner that a product is for free so you don't need to pay anything to get an account there and uh, your offer will be like paid you need to pay uh, like for user you need to pay for it so it will be a misleading for user and the conversion uh, another like indicator for example on a our network uh, if you are working with us on soi uh, we we also open you amount of sales from your traffic source so you can always uh, check a conversion rate into sales on our platform and understand what source like is is doing better for you okay right so the key here is not to mislead the user yeah the key is oh. not mislead the user yeah okay. and uh, for example you can run like uh, an adult offer and mainstream offer and if uh, you will use like a mainstream offer you need mm -hmm. to build a funnel of a mainstream also and the traffic source is need to be a mainstream because if you will drive the users from a mainstream traffic sources to adult product the conversion rate will be like also parity of because it's not what they're looking for i see okay that's good to know so so um would there be any dating offer like probably like some of the best offers that you guys have yeah you guys have that you can recommend to to our audience yes so the best uh, like offer we have for now is flip.com so flip is like a, a analog for tinder and then much com uh, they're like a key point for flip it's like accepting almost all the countries more than 15 uh, 50 countries so mm -hmm. you can send all the traffic on one website and uh, and you will get paid like for every another case it for example uh Fleet can accept an api traffic so uh if you have like a data for users for example email and age and uh, an ip ads you can skip a landing page and and send user right to the product 
yeah. after your peril lender. So uh, in that case, obviously, conversion rate will be uh, maybe twi uh, twice higher than if, if you're using, uh, using like a landing page. I see. Okay. Right. So, like, what would be the trends um, in a dating vertical for like the next six months? Uh, I'm sorry again. Like, what do you think would be the trend? Um, you know, for the next six months in the dating vertical. A trend. Oh yeah, trend. So, uh, a trend. Uh, actually, it will be the NAI traffic. So, a trend will be like an Asian market. And for the United States and Europe, it will be an API traffic because, uh, yeah, as I told you before, um, a huge players on the market already have a lot of users on their websites. Yeah. And uh, if you want to continue like buying a user and developing your product, uh, you need to uh, buy only unique users so okay. like parish users yeah and ipi funnel is uh, a right choice for it because um okay for example you are picking up two api offers from a different like offers and advertisers yeah and you will propose via api this user to one offer and if uh, if this website already have this user uh, mm -hmm. you can send this user to another offer and still get your money because uh, uh, we are not paying for example for Duplicate. logins yeah 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 okay. we are paying only for uh, an soi and if uh, a user is already have an account on current website so uh, it's better for you to send it via like API to another another offer. Okay, like would it be difficult to to have this API to set up? Like, let's just say if if someone is new, you know, he, he or she just want to start sending traffic. Like, do you guys provide the guide? Um, yeah, help we can so help. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. we have a tech team to uh, help you to set up an API offer. And so we have currently more than 20 API offers. And, mm. and based on what our affiliates are telling us, the EPC for the affiliates is twice uh, higher than uh, uh, like on average offer. Oh, wow. Twice as high as... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow, it's because, it's because yeah. if uh, uh, you can... Uh, you can send user to another offer if this offer has been rotated by your site. Yeah, yeah, rotate, yeah. Right, uh, yeah. yeah. I think back, back, back in the old days, like there, there was no such thing as API things or what you know. So yeah, let's say if I was sending traffic to just um like for example a B naughty or B two, and if they had already have that particular lead, then I'm not gonna get paid. Yeah, but right yeah, now exactly actually telling me that. Um, by just sending the lead to the API, it will just assign to whatever advertisers that doesn't have the lead. And at that yeah, that yeah. will have to really pay you for the lead. Wow. Exactly. That's, that's, mm -hmm. Exactly. Wow. That's yeah, so yeah. basically, if you pass it up in two offers and you propose this user to one advertiser, and if the advertiser will reply that we don't need this user, you can send a uh, this request via API to another offer. And if you are using like a landing pages, the user will be dead for you. So mm -hmm. if you will send user to landing page, to wherever for, there like will be a registration or not, uh, if you can't like direct him to another offer. It's impossible right. with landing pages, yeah. And it's possible with API, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so um, we, as we all know that Facebook has also introduced Facebook dating, like how would, like do you guys think it's gonna um, have a big impact um, to, to, to the dating industries or, or uh, as a whole? Uh, 
as far as I understand now, Facebook is not buying like a traffic uh, outside of, of like a Facebook to promote their like because Facebook they have, dating. Yeah, they have like the biggest. Yeah, they have, they have uh, audience. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and uh, Sati, uh, we didn't like notice a drop in uh, a traffic from a Facebook. So it's like stable and still mm -hmm. you can use like ad networks and push notifications to drive a traffic to like an advertiser and and the facebook uh, like dating is not a big deal of, of right now so no all right okay that's good to know okay so i guess um yeah before we end our interview um yeah nick uh, why not you just spend the next uh, one or two minutes to like introduce your network to the audience and then you know if today if i were to the uh sign up with a top offer like how or uh, what can i do and also what are some of the okay. help that you guys can give to the affiliates you know yeah just yeah let us know yeah okay so uh the main point uh, about our platform is that we are using only direct or exclusive offers Mm -hmm. So, if, for example, uh, you will try to push Binotti uh, on our platform and to another platform, our payouts will be higher because uh, we have like an exclusive partners uh, for like a several uh, companies that uh, own uh, like a dating websites, uh, and because of that, we have like. Um, best uh, payouts uh, on the market for selected offers. Also, uh, we are covering uh, more than 50 uh, like geos across the world. And uh, we have both uh, like a direct offer and we have like a partners who are running a smart link and smart link is a thing also because uh, it's easier for you to, to send traffic uh, only on one link and then we will like uh, decide uh, what offer is better for this traffic based on EPC. And also we are helping like a new affiliates to run their traffic. We are uh, explaining what industry is looking uh, right now and which gear are, are better and then what landing pages and banners you need to use mm -hmm. and I'll, also we provide um, wide uh, uh, like a lot of information about your traffic for example if uh, you will work with another like uh, a network here yeah, and and the traffic's uh, like quality will be a bad and they will ask you to stop the source like just uh, police start up the source and we are uh, uh, on our side we explaining why the uh, uh, this traffic is uh, like converting low and we are helping to increase conversion ratio to our affiliates okay so thank you so much for your time today nick it's a pleasure to have yeah. you today thank you okay okay thank you bye thank guys you. That's it for our fifth episode of the Ben's Talk Show. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do next is, uh, yeah, I'll do my best to try to find um, more content that can be shared with you guys. Uh, because uh, as we all know that uh, whatever that we are talking about, uh, what whatever that we plan to cover is actually very, um, should I use the word secretive? Like like you know, um, if somebody knows something, they are very. Uh, not likely to to be willing to share but yeah i'll just try to uncover as much uh, as i can uh, with everyone out there um yeah so if you like this channel uh, do subscribe um uh, with the button below and do not forget to join our telegram group uh, and together we are going to explore the affiliate marketing world together see you next time